Today we're glad to be talking with Paul Vandervoort. Hi Paul, how are you? Hey, doing great. Good, good. So tell us, how did you get started acting and modeling? Uh, I started in Colorado. I did some local stuff with photographers and started working with the modeling agency out of Denver. Um, and then kind of the biggest thing for me was booking Abercrombie, where I, I actually still lived in Colorado and flew to New York. And then after that, I was just like, all right, I need to make it, you know, I need to make it a, a full-time job. And, you know, that's when I started uh, figuring out how to move to L.A. Uh -huh. Well, that's kind of top of the line working for Abercrombie. That's like really impressive. So that's great. Yeah, that was like something I wanted to do since I was like probably younger than 16. And, uh, you know, I'd met with a scout in Denver, actually, through the agency I was working with. Uh, and then this was a random, like, I, I have all my stuff online as well, and they contacted me through there. So. Uh-huh. Great, great. And then um, tell us about Billion Dollar Freshman. Tell us about the movie. It's, it's such an awesome, it was a pilot that I worked on at the end of 2010, um, and it was actually just rewritten and picked up for a full series. So, oh, great. Uh, I'm anxiously waiting to see if I get to come back, because my character was uh, potentially recurring. So depending on the rewrites, I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but... Uh, such a cool cast. It was so fun to work on. Who else, uh, who else is in the, uh, in the series? Uh, it's Billy Unger. Are you familiar with him? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Billy Unger, uh, Spencer Boldman. In uh, our pilot was uh, Kurtwood Smith from That 70s Show and oh. a million other movies. Really? Uh, so Yeah, and it's, it's the producers of That 70s Show as well. Uh, Chris Peterson, uh, Mark Brazil, Brian Moore. So it's it's a really cool uh, casting crew is is awesome. Uh huh. Very nice. And then you were on the latest episode of Prank Stars, which is very cool. Tell us about that. How'd you like working yeah. on the show? Um, that that was so fun, and it and it's so random because I was I was actually in Vegas for my brother's twenty first birthday, and the casting director knew who I was and reached out to me, and they were like, "I want you to come in today." And I was like, "Well, I'm in Vegas, you know, I can't, but I can <laughs> I can leave early and I could be there first thing in the morning." Um, so we cut the trip short, and we drove all the way back, and literally like got off the highway and went into her office, which is on Paramount. Um, and and I auditioned for it. They put me on tape, and they told me, you know, we've already been casting all day and all yesterday, and the videos are turned in, but we're going to submit you anyway. And if they haven't picked anyone, like we think you're perfect for this. And uh, I got a call the next day, and they were like, you know, you totally booked it so <laughs> uh -huh. well that's so cool you're the perfect person for the role though with your karate skills so that's that's great yeah it was a really good fit and it was so fun you know again to work on it was like a total blast it was hilarious so. uh -huh. and what was it like working on the set with like Mitchell Musso and uh, the whole cast it, it was just really fun you know Mitchell was super cool um you know uh Leo Howard is great you know and uh you know we have that martial arts in common so it was fun to work with him and uh, you know, Sean, who is the Sensei Sean, is actually a, a mutual friend of mine that I'd met before. Really? Uh, so we had fun working together, and he's hilarious. So. Uh huh. Well, tell us about your karate. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, I started when I was eight years old. Eight years old. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's been like my thing all through grade school and afterwards, and it's like kind of no matter what else I was doing in life, like I always had my martial arts, and that was like my main thing. Like I never did any. Uh, organized sports really in school it was just always karate uh -huh. so now that I'm doing acting you know and I have a martial arts reel and you know that just keeps uh coming into play again and again like a lot more than I thought it would so oh absolutely that's such a great thing to know I wish I knew karate that'd be so cool <laughs> yeah yeah you should look into it <laughs> yeah. and then tell us you were on iCarly and Hannah Montana and Melissa and Joey how did you like working on those shows yeah, there's like a trend, you know, the the Disney and Nickelodeon shows, like I keep ending up on those. Um, and, and they're so fun, you know, it's like iCarly, um, I was mainly dancing around the whole time, so. You know, <laughs> I remember that episode too. That. <laughs> that's so funny, I, I think that's kind of one of the funniest episodes, everybody just running around like that, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, and it's so funny because, you know, my name was Klaus, but I didn't even have any lines and I still have people like, I saw you on iCarly and like grown adults, you know, they, it still reruns. So they still tell me all the time, you know, I, I, you know, I saw you on iCarly dancing around in green swim shorts. So. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. How did you like working with uh, Jerry Trainer? Um, oh yeah, he's great. Uh, he's, he's really funny and he's a super nice guy. You know, I got to talk to him, um, when we were working together cause we were actually for that role, we were on set for a whole entire week. And a lot of that is just hanging out and getting to the cast. And um, he was he was really cool. Yeah, he was a really nice guy. 
Was he? So, yeah, he's a funny character on the show. We love his character. Yeah, yeah, he's great. <laughs> and then he's where where would you like to see yourself um, star on, like on a TV show? Where would you see yourself? Well, I would like to come back on the pilot I worked on and see that go, you know, and be a, a, a prominent character just because uh, that's actually a lot of martial arts as well. Um, you know, I was like this bionic boy with superhuman ability and super speed and uh, it was just really fun and it was like perfect for me, you know, just with the martial arts again. So something like similar to that, um, I think would just be so fun, you know, where I can kind of be myself, but like a much more extreme version, uh, you know, but still do like martial arts and have fun and be funny and that would be the perfect role. Oh, absolutely. And then tell us three things we may not know about you. Okay. Uh, number one, I have a vampire movie coming out, which mm -hmm. is very, very different uh, than anything I've done. You know, Melissa and Joey and uh, Hannah Montana. And, you know, this is like a real dark vampire and my name's Nikolai. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely, uh, you know, I'll put more up about that soon. But we shoot it next month and it's going to be very different. So I was going to ask you about the vampire thing. Are you a Twilight fan or did you kind of relate to that about your character to help you build that? Yeah, well, I mean, no, because it's it's going to be much different than Twilight. It's an indie film, so it's going to oh. be much less commercial. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I've seen all the Twilights. Um, you know, me and Boo Boo actually have the same agent, so I've met him a couple times. I went to the Eclipse premiere. Oh. Um, so I'm definitely a fan. You know, I think they're great. Uh, you know, it's a great cast. They're doing amazing. So Very nice, yeah. And then two other things we may not know about you? Okay, um, I love to surf. That was like uh, a hobby I would do occasionally, and I've lately become like totally addicted. I did it all summer long, and um, you know, I, I went to Chicago last week, and I came back, and like the first thing I could think about is just getting back to the ocean. So, um, other than martial arts, that's like my other real main hobby right now. Uh huh. Very um, nice. So I guess I could tie I, and. Um, I guess I could tie that into a third, which is I was just in Chicago last week um, and shot the cover for a magazine called Supermalls Unlimited Magazine, uh, uh -huh. and that's going to come out this year, um, I think in the next few months. So oh, very that'll nice. be cool. Yeah, we look forward <laughs> to that. That's so awesome. Definitely. Yeah. And then um, tell us about your Twitter, which is at Paul Vandervoort. How did you uh, like using Twitter? I like it. It's fun. You know, um, that's pretty much all I do. And I have it linked to my Facebook so I can kind of just do it all in one. Um, but it, but it's nice, you know, and I have so many friends in Colorado and I have such a huge family spread out. Um, so it's cool, you know, even if I don't talk to people for months and, you know, uh, different people that follow my career and what I'm doing, you know, I, I just love being able to, you know, put random stuff up there. There's not really any, you know, method to what I post that could be like watching a movie or, you know, going to an event or sitting around, you know, Absolutely. staring at the wall. So. Do you have a favorite tweet that someone's tweeted you or that you've tweeted? Um, a favorite tweet? I mean, I see funny stuff on there all day. That's why I like about Twitter is you get to pick up on people's kind of uh, idiosyncrasies, I guess, and you know, it's funny. You see a different side of people through Twitter. Absolutely. I know. I don't know life before Twitter because it's like just – Everybody just announces what they're doing every second. So it's like, how did I know what they were doing before? So I like it. Yeah. No, it's awesome. It's great. And it's just one more way to keep in touch with everybody and stay hip to what's going on. And, you know, yeah, it's crazy to think that there wasn't Twitter a couple of years ago. I know, definitely. And it's like, what's going to come next? We don't even know. <laughs> what's, you know? Yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> and then tell us, um, is there anything else you'd like to tell your fans out there? Uh, just, you know, I have got some good stuff going on and hope to make everybody proud. You know, just thanks so much for all the support. Uh, you know, keep tuned, uh, Facebook slash Paul Vandervoort, Twitter at Paul Vandervoort. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Thanks for having me on.